The charred frame of the Sukhoi Superjet was lifted today from where it crashed Sunday as the focus shifted to the politically sensitive question of what brought the jet down. This fortunate passenger who got out unscathed claims he saw a white light right after takeoff. The possibility that lightning caused the crash has been played up by Russian state media rather than pilot error or a mechanical problem. But planes are built to withstand lightning strikes and it doesn't explain why the pilot declared an emergency and then had to come in for a fast hard landing creating a deadly fireball in the process. Stories on Russian TV have also suggested that some of the survivors may be partially to blame for the high death toll because some of them took their bags, leaving others trapped inside. The coverage likely reflects the fact that the Sukhoi Superjet is a prestige project for President Vladimir Putin, the first Russian-made commercial aircraft since Soviet times. But there have been repeated problems with its engines, leading to frequent groundings. Putin foe Alexei Navalny wrote on Instagram today, it was important for the authorities to prove, look, we're able to make a plane under Putin. Huge money was spent on the project. Superjet is an unfinished aircraft which cannot be used in full commercial operation. Alexander, um, on state TV talk shows, Navalny never gets mentioned by name, but it appeared the rebuttals from government officials were aimed squarely at him. Some people are trying to create a false impression that the state will not protect its people. It's totally false, said Alexander Hinchstein. Russia's transportation minister said today he sees no reason to ground the fleet of super jets, but it appears some carriers are taking action on their own. One regional Russian airline said today it was cancelling its order for 10 more of the aircraft. Chris Brown, CBC News, Moscow. The flames in the engulfing that plane were so big, so intense, it's hard to believe anyone inside survived. But from those who did, today came stories of sheer horror. With the cabin windows melting and the flames growing, some of the passengers say it was the crew members who saved their lives, staying calm while passengers panicked. In darkness and with smoke all around them, some people froze, others stopped to get bags from the compartments above. After kicking out a door, this flight attendant had to shove people out of the plane to keep the evacuation moving. At the rear of the cabin, this steward died trying to release another slide. All but one of the 41 people killed, including two children, had seats in the back half of the plane. Row 10, the dividing line between life and death. And late today, Aeroflot announced it will pay compensation up to $41,000 to passengers who escaped alive and about $103,000 to relatives of those who did not.